So, you know, allergy um, in, engages a certain specific part of the immune system. There's immediate type allergies. Probably the most common one that people are familiar with is someone with a bad peanut allergy. You know, if they eat a peanut, they're going to have trouble pretty much right away. And then there's a delayed part of your immune system, which uh, frequently occurs with someone who has a medication allergy. Might not be with the first dose, but after a few days, they might get a rash. So that's kind of your straightforward allergies that encompasses, you know, allergies to say dust mites or pets or pollens. Our part of the immune system really focuses on the airway, the skin, and the gastrointestinal tract. Those are the major areas that we look at. So, for example, in the airway, we're going to be looking at not just allergies, but we're going to be looking at things that might give you chronic infections. Someone who doesn't have a good immune system, we can check you to see if you have an immunodeficiency problem. Um, if you have trouble responding to your immunizations, that's part of our specialty. Um, if you have hormonal problems, it might be giving you even a stuffy nose or chronic cough. We are, you know, we understand how hormones can affect the airway and how that can give you symptoms that might look and act like allergies. So when you come in for an assessment, we're sort of looking at the whole person. And I think that's important for patients to know because a lot of times they come in and they say, I just want to know what I'm allergic to, and they've got a chronic cough. But the thing is, we're not just focusing on that one thing. If we test you for allergies and we don't see an allergy going on, we're not going to stop there. We're going to say, okay, that's the one thing off our checklist. Now let's get on the rest of the list. What else could be making you cough? It could be this, could be this, could be this. So we're looking for all those other things. We're just trying to get to the bottom of the root of the problem. And when you find the cough, then you know what the options are for treatment and then you get much better results I think and that's that's our goal and so we have kind of an unusual specialty in that sense